Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Isa Ghani. 39 new cases of influenza A H1N1 were recorded Friday, all of which were locally transmitted. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says of the number, 36 involved clusters of transmission. He also confirms that seven colleges in Malacca have been ordered closed for a week after 70 students tested positive for the virus. He adds there have been 978 cases reported in the country, with only 20 still undergoing treatment. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Tan Sri Nor Muhammad Yaakob, says the Economic Planning Unit study to find the solution to the toll hike issue every three years is on track. He says the EPU will soon announce the findings of the three-month study, which began in April. The study is on, certainly. But the first part of it, of course, as you know, Yang Ahmad Bohomad Perdana Menteri has announced a 20% discount in his 100-day speech. That, that's, that's the initial part of it. The overall study is, is on. It's he told this to reporters after the launch of the Malaysia Property Incorporated on Friday. Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak had announced that Touch & Go and SmartTag users who pay toll 80 times or more per month will be given a 20% discount from September 1st. The Kuala Lumpur High Court has granted a stay against its earlier ruling ordering the prosecution to supply documents to the defence team representing Parti Keadilan Rakyat advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim in his sodomy trial. High Court Judge Justice Muhammad Zabidin Muhammadiyah allowed a stay of execution on the grounds that he did not want the appeal by the prosecution over the same matter at the Court of Appeal to become meaningless. The court set September 2nd to mention Anwar's sodomy trial and his application to strike out his charge. A construction site supervisor who was charged with causing the death of corporate consultant Dr. Liu Bun Hong in 2005 has been acquitted by the Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court. The supervisor, Q Ah Sam, walked out a free man after Judge Muhammad Sekri Mamat ruled that the prosecution had failed to prove him a prima facie case against him on Friday. Dr. Liu was killed when an iron mold fell from the 20th floor into his car as it was being driven into the car park of Plaza Damas. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Isagani. Thanks for watching.